Even grade 9 students struggle with this kind of question. It says x is proportional to root y, y is increased by 69%. Work out the percentage increase of x. Say this video is part of your proportion, revision, and I guess you could say percentage change. Okay, it's a really important question. Now remember guys, less than a week to go before your first paper, non-calculator, which something like this could come up. If you want to join the cram course, well, the night before I'll go through some key concepts and questions as our last minute revision link in the bio if you want to sign up it's completely free so x is proportional to root y x is proportional proportional means some multiple of root y y is increased by 69 percent so what's the multiplier going to be so we're going to rewrite this with this being increased well, if you increase, you're increasing it from 100%, which is 169%, which the multiplier is then 1.69, okay? So x is k root of 1.69y, okay? Now, the next thing is in a non-calculated paper, we need to figure out what the multiplier is on x, okay? For example, if I in front of here guys put 0 0.9 you guys would say x has been dropped by 10 percent so if we want to see what's happening to x this number we need to figure out what it is on the outside because this is what's happening to y but not what's happening to x so we need to somehow root 1.69 and we can do that easily by thinking of this as a fraction so instead of converting it to a decimal by thinking of it as a fraction it's much easier so by rooting this, we root the top and the bottom. That's 13 over 10. Okay. So on the outside, it's 13 over 10, which is 1.3. So we get 1.3k root y. And now the root y is consistent, and we can see that x has increased by 30%. The multiplier is 1.3. So the answer here is 30%. So save this video. It's part of your revision for that non-calculator paper. Make sure you sign up for next week's last minute revision session and head to Neil Does Maths on YouTube for more comprehensive revision. Nice.